Bailey, okay. No. Really? No, yes, obviously. Oh. <laughs> Let's walk again. <laughs> Sorry. I'm <laughs> like, Catching breath. Okay, ready? Welcome back or welcome. My name is Daniela. If this is the first time you are clicking on one of my videos. So today I'm going to be doing a very highly requested video, which is going to be the nursery tour. But before we get into that, if this is the first time you're clicking on one of my videos or if you just haven't yet, don't forget to subscribe, like, and turn on the little notification bell so you can be notified every time I post, which is every single Wednesday. So as you can tell, we are actually in my room to start. So before we actually got into the nursery, I wanted to start with our room because this is gonna be a huge part of our setup once baby is here. So as you can see, we have this change table that Liam's dad actually built us. So this is the Bumbo changing pad, which I spoke about in the newborn essentials video. If you haven't watched that, go check that out. So this item is definitely pricier. Again, I spoke about that in the newborn essentials video, but I really like it because instead of dealing with different fabrics and worrying about laundry, you can literally just use like a surface wipe and wipe everything down once you're finished. So I really thought I'd be thanking myself in the end for that. And then we just have some newborn diapers, some water wipes, and then some diaper cream as well. We also purchased this Baba uh, lamp. And I, again, mentioned most of this stuff in my newborn's essential video as well. So I really like this for night changes because you can just tap it on and then you can hold it to make it brighter or darker, dimmer. And then again, just tap it twice to turn it off. So this is our whole tabletop setup. Okay, so now going into the actual drawer. As you can see, we have these dividers here from Ikea. These ones are different than the ones that we have in the nursery. Actually, this one we do have in the nursery, but this is uh, different. So we just have our newborn diapers here. Once we are finished with those, we'll just go back and forth and keep filling that. So newborn diapers, and then we have burp claws, bibs, soothers or pacifiers, dummies, whatever you want to call them. Um, some other diaper cream, it's called pseudo cream. So this I'm pretty sure is better for when the diaper rash is worse. So we'll probably use this Bepenthin. Again, I'm not sure how to pronounce it exactly, but we'll probably use this like every day. But again, we just have to see what baby skin reacts well to. Then here we have socks and these are just gowns. We do have more of them, but they're in baby's hospital bag right now. And then we also just, these are all sleepers. So we have ones with buttons and ones with zippers as well. So basically with the clothes and all the essentials in the drawers here, I just wanted to make sure we had things that were good for bedtime and sleeping and stuff like that and changes as well, so just things that are easier. So for example, we're not gonna have any really nice outfits in these drawers, all of that will be in the nursery, but this is really all just for night changes, sleeping, stuff like that, so we don't have to keep going back and forth. Okay, so now we're just gonna go into what we have underneath. Okay, so for the first basket here for now, we just have the bigger clothes that baby won't fit into right away, so like six to nine months and three to six months as well and everything is open to change. This is just what we have in for now, but obviously as baby is here, we'll see what works for us. And then we have a couple of swaddles, and then these are like those easy swaddles as well with just like the Velcro. So we have those there. And again, as you'll notice, I don't have a bunch of different things. I just kind of wanted to start with the bare minimum and see what baby likes, and then we'll invest in more of those products. For the third basket, we also have this pillow, which I showed in the newborn essentials video. It just has this little kind of dent in it to prevent flathead and any kinks in the neck that they might've had from the womb. And then we just have a sleep bag, which, are very common, a lot of people use these. So again, like we have sleep bags, swaddles, the easy swaddles, different things, and I just wanna see what baby likes. So in the first bin, we have this free rider wrap that again, I spoke about in the newborn essentials video. This will definitely come in handy, so I wanted to keep this 
right by my bedside table. For now, I just have this towel in here in case my water breaks or something in the middle of the night to help with a quick cleanup. And then this second drawer right now is just everything postpartum, which I will make a whole separate video about what I have planned for my postpartum and also a bunch of this is gonna be involved with my hospital bag for myself as well. And then the third bin right now is just a bunch of water wipes. So we'll just keep extras here so that we can fill it easily. Okay, so that was pretty much everything for this. Again, I just wanted to keep it very simple and just have everything here for changes and sleeping. And again, if we need anything else, I'll make sure to put it in there. But for now, this is what we're starting with until baby comes and then we'll go from there and see what they like. But another thing that again, I mentioned in my other video is this Halo bassinet. Once again, this is an investment piece, but we really like this as it does have the 360, oh goodness, bonk. 35 weeks guys, almost getting there. But um, yeah, it does have the 360 swivel. So if, especially for C-sections, apparently it's really nice because it also has this bar that you can just bring down and bring baby out and then also has a bunch of different features for baby as well like vibration light noise all that stuff and then we do have a little you and sheep in here for now basically it just makes noises and also goes like a red color just to mimic the mother's womb and all that also sorry i don't know if you guys can see this kind of creepy 4d picture but this is baby Miller right now. If you guys watched the video from last week, you would have already seen that, but that is what they're looking like right now. So chubby cheeks, hopefully that won't mean more pain for me. So this is basically our whole setup for nighttime and this will probably be for a good six months. This will be where baby hangs out at night instead of the crib and the nursery and all that, but we still made sure to set the nursery up as well just to have the option to go back and forth and I would obviously like some more storage options as well just for clothes. Okay so that was it for our room. I feel like I'm in an episode of like MTV Cribs. Anyways so now we're gonna go to the nursery so let's check that out. Okay so as you can see this is right across the hallway so let's take a look at what it actually looks like. now in the nursery it's a gender neutral kind of safari theme with grays and whites I also wanted to make sure that in this room we didn't really have anything too permanent because first of all we are renting and second of all we could possibly be moving with Liam's soccer very soon so we could end up staying here but we could very well be moving far away close we're not really sure yet so we just kind of have to be ready for anything so I thought this room was kind of the perfect mix of still making it homey in case we do end up staying, but also having the option to be able to get everything and go kind of last minute if we need to as well. Okay, so the first thing that you'll definitely notice once you walk through the door would be the crib or cot, whatever you want to call it. This one is actually a cot bed, so it is definitely bigger than your average crib. But the nice thing about this is first of all, it was fairly inexpensive. It's a 2D Bambini crib. And also it converts to a toddler bed as well. So at this end, this top half up here ends up coming off and then you have the headboard and obviously the rails come off as well and it ends up just being a toddler bed. So I love that it would be able to grow with the baby. It also does come with different colors in case you just don't like this color or it doesn't go with your specific nursery colors. This crib does also come with these like anti-biting uh, plastic pieces. Basically, I'm pretty sure it's just to protect your child's teeth if they try to bite this, but then also the wood of the crib as well. We have a friend joining us right now. He clearly likes it. I think he just wants the monkey though. But we do have this just for decoration right now, just a cellular blanket, but it will just be going with us um, to the hospital, just like for the car seat for the baby. And then the monkey that Casper is obsessed with here is uh, just from Tesco, which is, again, it's like uh, for anyone who's not from the UK, it's just like a grocery store kind of deal. So we have that monkey. And then we do also have this picture here. All the pictures in this room, not the mirror, the mirror is from Ikea, 
but all the pictures in this room are from the range. So this picture here is just like a map that features all of the different animals in the world. <laughs> sure. And also again went with the whole white and gray color scheme which all tied in super well and then along with that these sheets that we got uh, from John Lewis they are elephants and again it just all tied in really well with the safari theme and the gray and white. And then lastly in here we do have the Cali Sleep Baby Nest which I mentioned in my newborn video. This is for now just decoration in the crib. The crib will be completely empty once baby's here and they won't even probably be in the crib until they're six months old. So kind of everything is for decoration right now, honestly. But this sleep nest is going to be awesome just to bring around the house. You can use it for different reasons, but basically just for baby to lounge about or take naps while you're watching them. You definitely don't want to leave them unattended in it, but it does come with a blanket and a pillow as well. But again, even these colors went really well with the whole room. Okay, I'm gonna take a seat now, but this is the other little corner of our room. So this is just another decoration that we got from the range. So it's just a little globe. And then Liam actually painted this. So <laughs> he's behind the camera. He's like, please don't show this. Anyways, so he painted this. We're gonna get a frame for it. I thought it kind of went with the safari theme. So I thought that was cute to have that. Also, I forgot to mention the paintings in our room, the little like lavender paintings, I did those. And then with the painting in the middle, I'm just gonna paint whatever first initial of our baby's name we end up picking. So that's that. But then in this basket here, we just have a little book. Again, I spoke about this in the newborns video, but it's just like a contrast book. It like makes noises. As you can see, there's like, a mirror in the back so I thought it would just be good for the baby in the beginning and then I just have this little basket if I want to put anything in there for when I'm nursing or whatnot but this chair is from Ikea and then we have this little zebra pillow as well that went really well with it this is from the range and then we just have this blanket here that again went well with the room I wanted to put a mirror in this room as well I just thought it makes room look a little bit bigger so I thought that was a nice touch and then we have this giraffe picture here that went along with the whole like geographic safari kind of theme we have and then this isn't very exciting but we made sure to get just like a plastic hamper because a lot of things we're gonna be throwing in here of babies will most likely be wet so this kind of prevents things from growing and all of that and again I thought it went well with the colors of the room and whatnot so now for our changing table. Okay, so now this is actually like one of my favorite parts of the room just because this was actually Liam's drawer set when he was younger. So this was, I'll see if, if I can find pictures, I'll put them up, but if I can't, sorry. But this was like brown and kind of not that cute. Well, I mean, I'm sure it was when they first, he's given me looks behind the camera, but it, I'm sure it was nice when they first got it, but it was just older. Anyways, so we like sanded it off and stuff, again with the help of Liam's dad, he's good at that stuff. So we sanded it off, painted it white, we got these new little knobs, we just got them off Amazon. And it honestly changed the look of the whole thing. So I knew I wanted to do a dresser kind of situation because I know you can also get the legit change table dressers, but I thought other than when your baby's like a baby and you're changing them, other than that, I thought it was kind of a waste of money because even though we do plan on having kids in the future, even the gaps between it, I just thought it'd be nicer just to have a dresser instead of having the built-in change table. And they can be pretty pricey as well. So it was just nice that we had this. If you do have something that you can kind of make into your own little change table, I would totally go for it. But if not, like, I get that they're also really nice too, the other change table. So do what you want, but this is what we did. And I wanted to make sure we had another just little changing pad here. And again, the Bumbo one, and which I talked about before. But I just like how you can wipe it all down. So we have two, one in our room and one here. And then I made sure to also get this diaper caddy. I got this off Amazon. And then I just have diapers in here. And then I have water wipes. Again, just the service wipes for any changing pad, and then just a toy, bibs, soothers, like change of clothes, swaddle, stuff like that in here. So this is nice just because you can bring it, we live in a two-story house, so you can bring it downstairs. We have a change table down there as well, or just wherever you are off to, roaming to in the house. So that's nice, and it's right there, easy 
to get because I'm sure a lot of the things we'll be doing will be one-handed, so it's nice to have that. This little decoration here, just a little elephant from the range, as well as this little like log piece. So both from the range, as well as this painting, and it's just an elephant with balloons, and it just says, oh, the places you'll go. I just thought it was really cute, and I liked how it had the animals as well. So again, it tied in. And then, like I did mention in the newborn video, we did end up going with the Ubi diaper pail. So this one basically is just made of steel, so that is how it keeps the scents from going out into the room. But it's nice because, again, it does save you money in the long run because you can use whatever bags, like normal garbage bags you want with it. You don't need specific like diaper genie refills or whatnot. So we're going to give that a try and hopefully that works. I've heard mixed reviews on it, but I feel like I've heard more good than bad. So we'll see what our experience is, is with it. Okay, so now we're going to go into the drawers. Okay, so these are my drawers. As you can see, like I mentioned before, we do have like the little inserts from Ikea. Our dresser is not from Ikea, so as you can see, I kind of had to make them fit myself, but it all ended up working out, and as you can also see, I do have everything kind of nicely labeled, and this is just because I want whoever comes to our house, like if my parents come from Canada or whatever and like are not used to the whole setup, they'll know exactly where everything is and what everything is without us having to tell them, so it just makes things easier like we don't have anything labeled in our room but that's just because it'll most likely just be Liam and I in there oh, hold on one sec let me catch my breath okay so first we just have our mitts drawer so we have all our little mitts in here I'm sure we will get more but that's what we have for now and then we have uh, just a bunch of bibs because I know we will need a lot of those and then we have hats in here we do have more of like the newborn hats but a lot of those are in the hospital bag this one is just like this we have a couple little bucket hats as well, so different styles. And then we have our socks in here as well. We have a bunch of socks, and I know like I was saying in one of my other videos as well, a lot of people do end up using socks for mitts, so we'll see if we do that. And then we have just a little hygiene drawer. So we have our little like baby wash in here. We just have these little sample ones from Child's Farm that we got just like a free little gift from Boots. And then this is just a little nail kit. So when we have to eventually trim their nails, which I am scared about, but we'll have to eventually. Uh, so we have that in there and then just a cheap little uh, Tommy Tippy like comb and brush set. And then we have our pacifier and clips little drawer here. As you can see, we don't actually have the pacifiers in here. Again, they're in the hospital bag and also somewhere in our bedroom. But for now, we have the clips here. And then as we figure out what kind of like bottles and nipples and stuff like our baby likes, we'll get more of those soothers. So we'll be putting those in here. And then we have, this is just like the little medical drawer. So just anything medical that we have, like we have the nose Frida, so this is just like the nasal aspirator. We have gripe water, which is good for when they get gassy. Um, we have this little uh, forehead thermometer, which again was not cheap because COVID and all of that fun stuff. And then we have just some saline nasal drops that we got at Boots. And these are just like the little filters for the nose Frida as well. So that's the first drawer done. Then moving on to the second drawer here. Again, everything is labeled. So these are just baby wipes and diaper cream. So we do have these in the caddy as well, but I just have a little bit of extras here. And then we have some burp claws and then just a bunch of extra newborn diapers here. Once they're finished in the caddy, we'll just fill them and then fill this as well. Okay, so now going into the third drawer, this is all the fun stuff, the clothes. So as you can see, we have newborn sleepers, then zero to three sleepers, short sleeves and long sleeves. So like the short sleeves and the long sleeves are mainly bodysuits. 
with the little clip at the bottom and then also you'll notice I did make these little just out of honestly like cardboard and I just put it in sharpie so I put this little divider in so as you can see here these two would be newborn and then anything behind this divider is zero to three so this was just a nice way to know what the size is because honestly to someone with a first time baby everything looks the same okay so these are all of our newborn sleepers here I did I forget what the method is called but it's like a specific folding method but basically it's just kind of like rolling it and I just like how you can see what everything looks like and it looks really organized we'll see how long that will actually last me and then yeah we have the zero to three sleepers here same kind of deal we'll see how big the baby is going to be if the baby is really small and ends up staying in newborn sleepers for longer I'll probably exchange these out for some more newborn sleepers and then we have the short sleeves here right now we literally only have two of the newborn short sleeves so we will see if we need more we'll get more if we have to um, and then going into long sleeves, we have more long sleeves in newborn actually than zero to three. So uh, that's kind of switching things up. But again, it will start to get cooler when our baby is due for September. If they come earlier, then again, we'll just adjust to everything. But this is what we've got going on right now. Okay, so this is drawer number four. So we just have pants, rompers, and overall, and then sweatshirts and hoodies. So again, I have these little dividers in here. So we don't, as you can see, have too many newborn pants because I've heard they're just in sleepers for most of the time. But then we do have more zero to three pants. And then for rompers and overalls, these are kind of what I would consider they're like nice clothes. So we literally have two in newborn and two in zero to three. So they're just like the cute little kind of overall things. So we don't have too much of those. And then just going into the sweatshirts and hoodies, um, we only have like one newborn sweater and then we have different different ones liam's already got the dinosaur <laughs> the dinosaur uh hoodie it goes all the way down the body so anyways but yeah just sweatshirts and hoodies here and then for drawer at number five here as you can see it's labeled blankets we will have some more blankets than there currently are right now they are in the wash right now actually and then just for like bath time, we do have washcloths here and then just a bath towel as well. So again, we'll probably get more bath stuff, but this is what we've got going on for now. And then for the last drawer, this is kind of just like the mess drawer. This is basically just extra stuff for the stroller, like adapters and stuff like that. Then we have some toys, like these toys will be for when they're older. And then this is just a rattle they can use from the start. And then in here, actually, I'm really excited about these. I got these on Amazon as well. And they're just like these little milestone cards. So like, obviously we won't be using this specific one for a year, but it comes with a bunch of different ones, like one week or my first Christmas, stuff like that. So I'll just put them beside the baby for a little photo op and I think they're just really cute and you can bring them anywhere. It's not like a hassle. So definitely have these. And then here we just have different crib sheets and I have more of these little pre-cut up dividers for as the baby grows and obviously we'll have different ages written down. And then I just have like the little washi tape that I got on Amazon that I was using for the labeling of the drawers. Okay, so that is it for the whole nursery tour and bedside setup. I thought it was pretty logical or logistical, whatever the word is. Like we didn't go super over the top, but I think it's still cute and has a nice little homey feel as well. I feel like all the pieces are nice and they tie the room together with the theme, but they're also like not too adult, but not too crazy like baby like it's not like paw patrol or something threw up in the room so i thought it was a nice way to combine some nice aesthetic for the room but also keep it baby friendly and still you would know it is a nursery as well and can be fun so anyways wrapping it up i hope you guys enjoyed this video and enjoyed the nursery tour as i've mentioned in my previous videos i do have some super exciting videos coming up so stay tuned for those also i would love to know any themes that you guys are doing for your nursery i think they're the cutest things to look at so comment down below what you guys are doing for yours and also just make sure you comment any videos that you'd like to see from me and i'll make sure i get around to doing them again make sure if you haven't yet subscribe like and turn the little notification bell on so you can be notified every time i post which is every single wednesday i look forward to you guys joining the family hopefully, and I will see you next time. Bye.